Alright guys, I'm sure you guys heard the term, what breaks you only makes you stronger. And I, I, I'm sure you heard that thousands of times, but no one really talks about the pain that lingers out of random thoughts that just pop in your mind while you're at work, or while you're laying in bed at night, or while you're driving. And they're kind of like a shadow that's constantly haunting you. You know what I mean. I mean, I'm talking the thoughts that come creeping in between your sets at the gym. The thoughts at work on downtime, the thoughts right before you go to sleep at night, the thoughts when you're craving a cigarette. Will you who shut is up, man? Listen, who you know, just those thoughts that linger that you try to escape from, but the more you try to drown them out, they only come back 10 times stronger later. So then you're probably wondering, well, what do I do? Do these thoughts ever go away? Well, I got some good news. And some bad news. Unfortunately, the thoughts do never go away. They get better over time, but the more that you push off those thoughts and you try to distract yourself or put a band-aid or, or avoid them, the longer it prolongs that process of healing, because healing hurts, okay? Read the title, healing hurts. You're, you're gonna get stronger, things are gonna take pass over years and years, and it's never gonna get any easier. And sometimes it won't bother you for months or years. The next thing you know, you'll be at work randomly and it'll hit you. And you'll be like, why is this still bothering me? Or like, especially if you come off, like if you're used to, you went on a streak of drinking and that, or you went and did this or that for all this time that you never actually sat down and self-reflected. Those things don't go away. You can't drink away subconscious, whoa, like they're there. So the best thing you can do sometimes is to actually sit down and don't try to just implant fake positive thoughts. Like when those thoughts come in, sit and observe them. Sit down with yourself and digest them and let yourself feel those things so that they can ultimately fade. Like you have to sit you can't constantly avoid it. Sit down with yourself and feel those things. You can do that by practicing mindfulness which is the basis of meditation. There's many forms of meditation you can do, which is like, you could focus on a particular thought and you try, all you do is try to focus on that thought and you're gonna have like random thoughts pop in and out, but you just gotta, you gotta continue to go back to that thought. Don't fight it too much, it takes time. Or you could focus on your breathing, on the sensation of the air coming in, as well as the air leaving. Those are, that, that is one way to really allow yourself to, to control more of your thoughts and your thinking on a day-to-day -day basis. But the very first thing to do really could be to just sit down. And I've seen Jordan Peterson talking about this, actually. Is to sit down, and if, if you have, you're, have a crisis after crisis in your life, is to really sit down with yourself and ask, the, ask yourself the, the, the question, like, where am I going wrong? And I guarantee you, all of those answers will pop into your head and you'll know. It might not be the answer you want, it's not going to be the answer you like, but it's going to be what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And it's going to be like, you'll be like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Okay, I'm not getting up early. I take off from work too much. I can't keep a job. I This is my problems and my, why I can't keep a relationship. Yada, 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 whatever, whatever it is, because we all have our own thing going. And just really sit there and ask yourself, and don't avoid what it tells you. Don't, don't try to be like, oh, well, justify it and make excuses. Sit down, for real. Sit down and be like, what can I, all right, what, what am I here for? I want to improve my life, or I want to improve my relationships, whatever. All right, cool. What is the problem that is holding me back or what is the problem getting in the way of that that is causing this not to happen okay all right we face it cool whatever all right and then it comes down to all right well what am i doing wrong that i will take full accountability for okay what is the solution now how can i fix you would this? be amazed how easy it is to overcomplicate the most simple things it's so easy for us to, to overlook things or to look way deeper and to overcomplicate over overcomplicate something so simple like for me personally 
like I would know what was wrong, but then I would try to work on things that either were easier, I thought, or I, I would just overlook those thoughts or overlook stuff that I knew I had to do because I didn't like the answer. I mean, for me personally, like at one point, I just drank too much and I was partying too much and I felt down all the time and not motivated, not doing what I needed to do. And I'd always make excuses. I was like, oh, well, maybe I just need to push through it or just try to sleep more or drink more water. But I knew deep inside, like, this is bad. And I would, I would make excuses because I didn't want to cut something out that I thought was fun at the time or that I thought was positive for me because I lived in denial. But then when your relationships are failing and all that, and then you start making excuses, well, it was them, well, it was them. Or it was this, this is the reason, or this is my boss's fault. And then you, re after a while, you realize when it, the, you see the repetition and the perpetual fails, you start to realize, okay, I'm the problem. I know that hurts. Hi right, guys, and to really finish this video off, I know how easy it is for us to underestimate um, the process and the time and just the reality of the situation because a lot of times we think that uh, if it if it takes us a little longer than someone else or it's been years and we tend to underestimate how long it actually takes to fully heal and just in general that like the pain kind of never it's like once you crack the egg the eggs crack so just be very patient with yourself actively work at it and things will start to improve in your life thanks for watching